Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday in the Shop. We've been looking for some of our pilot lamps, is what they call. This one I've had for a lot of years. It's not the color that I want it. I did take a picture of it. Uh, it's just not... what I want. Chrysler vehicles in the 70s had little covers that went over the bulbs and they were a really cool bluish green look. Now you go to truck some truck stops you can find these covers that go over those these bayonet type bulbs. Show you what the bulbs look like. They look like this. Okay now this has a 24 volt bulb in it I bought a couple 14 volt bulbs uh, maybe dim these down I have a couple of these on there in the truck underneath the dash I'll light this up they're way too bright but they're really neat at night I have them mounted like this under the edge of the dash okay one on the driver's passenger side and I need to get them working again I think I just stole the switch off it or for something else one day but I did take a picture of this I mean, this is really cool. I'd have it in a power supply, and when I talk on my radio, it drawed so much that it would dim down at night. It wouldn't be that bright at nighttime. You'd watch it dim down as the radio was, you know, pulling the load. Okay, we'll hook, we'll hook up the green one here. It is pretty bright, but we'll hook it up so you can see what it looks like. Then we got a couple more old ones we'll look up. Okay, before we light that one, we did take a piece of this come off some package or something. It's a blue tape. We did put some of that inside of this down in here. And it just pulls out to get the bulb out of this. We did shove some down into it. We would like to go to the junkyard and find another one of them covers. Uh, the, the only way I had one of them is I just quickly got out of where the ashtray light was. I didn't want to take the dash out of the vehicle at the junkyard because I knew what I was after. I just grab the one that lit up the ashtray okay this one's way too bright it's so bright that uh, it doesn't even look green you can watch when it dims out at the very last I'd like to get it to where you can still see the green and it's not really bright so we don't know what we're gonna do with that one they're just too bright that's a 14 volt bulb uh, this does say it's sure 24 volt, 74 watt. I think it says Dial Company, New York. I did take a picture if you'll be able to see it. Uh, I'll try to pick the best close-up picture because it's really hard to get that close-up with the camera. But it's very old. Uh, it does have a washer. It's kind of nasty looking. You could make it look bigger in a hole. I never liked that. That just went behind. That, I got the nuts for it. The nut and the washer for it over here. So, I've got everything to put it into something. So, I've always liked it just like that. No bigger than that. Okay, off to find a couple more old ones I have. A lot of stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, I did find it. This is what it looks like. 70's Chrysler. Here's what you get to truck stop. They make like yellow, orange, red, green, blue. I did find this one. Notice that it's different. How it's not as solid. We will take a picture of it on this old one. And we'll have it beside the one. Uh, the one you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference. Okay. Here's this old one. This is a red one that bolts in. This is really old. Start off so you can see what it looks like. This one's really old too. Uh, onto something really old. I mean, you can buy modern stuff. But it's just not the same as some of this old stuff. But that's all I can find right now. I have a yellow one. I cannot find it. I will keep looking, and we'll take a break here. And I will keep looking, and we will put that cover on that one. So that's the actual Chrysler type cover but before we do that we'll hook this up and we'll put these little colored things over the bulb 
we'll see what it looks if it looks different I'll have to clean them up see if it what it makes this look like with the green so hang in there we'll get this figured out too much junk to play with okay the camera just this is not this bright white this does look yellow okay we'll try this blue one we'll stick the green over it see that might work at night it's a lot dimmer trust me it is a lot dimmer than it shows on here so there's that one hope I ain't blowing y'all out with it and here's the neat one the Chrysler ones they were like a greenish blue that it's it's really not doing it justice what it does uh, there's a way I don't want to get my camera to adjust the brightness but you kind of get the idea uh, the reason you want to use a bulb that's not 12 volt because it gets so hot it melt these it melt these little things so before we go on to something different I'm gonna go ahead and stick that cover on this one peel that blue stuff back out again and take a picture of it uh, the picture seems to turn out better because I can adjust that in my computer so it's not so bright so Stay tuned, we'll find something else to show in this video besides just light bulbs. Okay, we have a few of these too, but we should have been better prepared. We did go through this stuff yesterday. We we should have picked everything out instead of putting them back in the drawers. But See, that's way too bright. You can't pick it up on the camera. But we'll snap a picture of this one too. These are kind of cheap, but then again, they're not that bad. There's little metal clips that you could put it through the panel and it clips on it. But you could hot glue it or anything in something. So stay tuned, we'll go on to a different subject here. We're beating a light bulb thing to death here. Okay, wanted to show you another use for a variac. Sorry about bumping the tripod. Okay, this is the little harbor freight tool that has the wall cube. Some people call it a wall wart. Okay. This is another use for this, and I've used this a lot. Uh, this comes with all kinds of different collets. It comes with a little bit of a kit with some bits. But I'm sure it has an 8th inch. Seat. I'm sure I've used the Dremel type stuff, 8th inch. I never run it up there, but. Another use for this little tool for small stuff. And I have used this on stuff small stuff before working but another use for a variac so this cost 60 bucks it's still the same uh not to plug any companies i got my small electronics where well, i show you all that stuff in the bags all them switches and stuff that i've got just another use for this and these are on sale like nine bucks now i haven't tried a wall dimmer so, uh, light dimmer that goes in the wall of your house so to dim your lights. I haven't tried that, so that's at your own risk. I have put one on a sewing machine motor and it works. So, uh, if someone's brave enough to try it, they can do that. They don't have to buy one of these. So, you could experiment. I mean, it's only $9 if you burn something up. Though, of course, the dimmer for your house is probably like 6 7 bucks. So, you're going to have some money in there just to experiment. I've never done it, and I'm just don't know if I have and don't remember but just another use for that that squeaks just the scrape of my variac over there inside okay enough of that we'll find one more thing and I think we're going to be about done for this week uh, just one of them things we're in between projects we're waiting for stuff in the mail so we can build a battery box with some batteries in it for the boom box stereo we do have the battery out of the truck set don't run the bench to use it for now uh we keep running down our little battery uh i don't know if i have a problem with this or not but i hooked up to my battery charger it's supposed to turn green to go to a float charge well, I was up to 14 and a half, almost 15 volts, but I was using a cheap meter. Uh, just this old, this old one. It was a cheap meter in its day, but it's built better than the Harbor Freight ones. 
This doesn't have that surface mount junk. It's got the old school parts. I made a video on both these meters one time. Just compared to the new one. Uh, it's in there somewhere in my videos. But we got two more of these ordered. So we're going to make a little box. We'll be able to switch between what battery we want. And we'll save that for another day. Uh, one more thing. I want to show you how the electric toothbrush worked. I showed last week or in another video of how the attachments work and then we'll be done for the day okay we showed this last week i think it was this one spins this goes up now now i'm not i this does not actually spin like this. it spins back and forth okay great for cleaning stuff okay these are kind of hard to pull out of here but you pull it out right here's the one that takes this stuff there's two brushes and that little rubber tip and then there's the flossing attachments. Okay, the instructions aren't the greatest on this. So I figured, uh, I found this at a Walmart. So I figured I'd show that. See how you pull that back? And this pops out. See that rod come up in there? So that's all it is. There's a little hole in here. See that? You just put these in here. You push this up. And you plug it in. This can be great for cleaning little carburetors. I gotta look around the camera here. This seems to take a lot of power out of the batteries. So it's just, just the batteries that came with it. But that's a good for small. And you see how the brush is kind of tapered? It just doesn't spin as fast as this. Like it takes more power to run this little thing than this big thing. So I said you get a couple extra of these. You guys think what? Get three total of these. Uh, if I can find a picture, I'll put it on this video too. Of what was in the package? But I said if you get one, get one with double A batteries. And like I said, like this, this just is so hard to pull out. Get the double A batteries. I just don't have no new ones, or I'd stick some new ones in here, because if I put my rechargeables, they're not going to have enough ump. I used to use them in my camera. They just don't have enough ump there, but... Uh, you want to get brave and put more voltage in this, there's the positive and negative down in there. If you want to get brave and put on some little variable power supply, it's something that would take you maybe up to 6, 7 volts. I wouldn't go up to 12 on something like this, probably burn it out, but... You could probably up it from three volts, go to four and a half, five. Uh, you might find out it might be quite a tool there, but there you go. That's it for this week. Uh, someday we will make a video cleaning something greasy with this. If we have a lawnmower coming up, or a lawnmower got to put a carburetor kit. So oh, I know I'll be showing that with some of my awesome cleaner. You can use any degreaser. Uh, cleaning some of the grease off the carburetor. So it'll be in a video coming up soon. So thanks for watching. These Sunday videos are starting to get way too long. Uh, this bench was cleaned off. It was cleaned off once. So you all the garbage and stuff piled up there from working on projects. So with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.